folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2019 Coleman Light 2835BH. I really like this bunk model, it's a rear corner bunk unit, but it does something that a lot of them fail to do, and that is give you a ton of storage. So as we go through, I'll kind of point it out, uh, they have a massive pantry here, and again, uh, the big slide out with a double over double rear corner bunk. Let's actually start off here in the kitchen though. So I like this style kitchen too. You have the L-shaped kitchen right here. And by doing this, they give you good prep space right here. They also give you the sink top cover so you can utilize that as well. And you have the corner right in the back with the outlet right there. So that way you can put your coffee maker there, plug it in, and you don't have a cord running up to the bottom of the cabinets. If we take a look at the sink top cover, it is removable. You can flip this over and use it as a cutting board. I always recommend flipping it over, that way the knife marks are here on the bottom, so the top stays looking pretty. If you take a look at the sink, you will see the undermount double bowl sink. They're able to undermount it because you have the seamless countertop in here, so it's a much cleaner look. But that's perfect for washing and rinsing dishes. And then you have the high rise, kind of industrial style faucet here. If we take a look over at the cooktop, you'll see the three burner cooktop, the front one being high output. You have this beautiful lit backsplash there. You can see the LED light, rope light uh, along the bottom. You can turn that off if you so desire, but I think it's a really nice uh, accentuating piece. Plus the backsplash makes life a little bit easier because it's easier to clean than the wall board. Underneath the three burner cooktop is your oven. They have a stainless steel suite of appliances in here. That's why your front of course is stainless. And underneath that, you have a nice big drawer. Speaking of drawers, you have a bank of three of them right next door. It's perfect. That way you have a spot for your flatware, another one for some of your larger utensils like spatulas, serving spoons, things like that. And then a third one kind of for whatever else you want. This one is a little bit deeper. So if you have uh, larger items you bring like an apple core or something like that, maybe a uh, immersion blender, you're able to put it right down in that drawer. Over here underneath the sink, you have good storage as well. I love when manufacturers do this because this gives me a place to put a trash can so I don't have to have my trash bag hanging out. And it's right underneath the sink, which is exactly where I want it. Uh, if we take a look up top here, you'll see they kind of have like the beadboard look on the doors, which is pretty nice. You have storage here above your uh, sink and then additional storage over here to the side. You'll also see you have LED lights underneath the cabinets too to help brighten up this kitchen area at nighttime. And then of course you have the window there to bring in natural light during the day. Microwave up top with a fully functional hood right underneath. Again, they're both stainless. This one does have a light and fan on there. Above your refrigerator, you'll notice you have a cutout here as well. And then underneath is the Norcold fridge freezer combo. Can open that up for you. You'll notice that you do have a cutout here in case you have some taller items, plenty of room in there. Uh, you also have a drawer right down below. So, you know, for your fruits, veggies, things like that. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. So we take a step back a little bit further, we get into the entertainment area. And so this is where, uh, you know, this floor plan really kind of starts taking shape and differentiating a little bit. And I love that they're able to do this. And that is when they can put a TV straight across from like a sofa. And they're able to do that in a rear corner bunk model, which again, you just don't see very often. So it's perfect, you know, on that rainy day, you can sit down here, enjoy a show. Maybe if you have a movie you want to watch, you can do that too because the multimedia center right here is a DVD player. It's already pre-wired to the TV, so just pop a movie in there and you're good to go. And remember folks, the TV does come with it, so it's not like you have to go out and buy one right away. It comes with it, mounted, all set. The other cool thing about this multimedia center, it does control the speakers in here as well as outside, and it's Bluetooth capable. So if you have uh, you know, music on your phone you want to listen to, or you know, maybe you have the, the latest podcast, my personal favorite, which is the Stories from the Road podcast downloaded on your phone, you want to listen to that in here, you can do that too. Connect it via Bluetooth and you are all set. Underneath that, you have a cubby hole there. Great spot for uh, you know, some different decorations and things you want to throw in there. Then underneath, they have the tinted glass, which is cool. Helps break up the wood look a little bit. And you will see a bunch of storage underneath that as well as accent lighting running along the floor. So again, it has that nice extra pop and appeal piece. As we swing around the corner though, folks, this is probably my favorite part of the entire floor plan. Take a look at this massive pantry space you have here. I love this, it's like a walk-in closet. Um, so this is cool because you have the three huge shelves, 
you know, you have uh, coat hangers up here so you can walk in. You have a spot to hang your jackets. You can put all of your shoes and everything down below. And you still have plenty of space for food, or other large items you want to put in here. You have enough room that you can store your vacuum cleaner in here if you want. Uh, I just love having this extra space. I think it was excellent use uh, of the space provided there. Right over here to this side, this is the in-command system. This is a great feature to have too. Rather than having the big ugly control panel, everything is right here in this touch screen. So we'll open this up for you so you can take a quick look. You'll see the uh, tank monitoring panel there. You can turn your lights on and off, your water heater, your water pump. Um, you know, it just, it's really cool because they have a bunch of different options here. You can control your lights individually if you want there too. Um, you know, your slides on here as well and the power awning. So everything right here from this one control. The main brain box for it is outside. I'll show you that in the pass through when we go out there. Uh, but I do certainly love that system. Right here in the back are your two double over double bunks. 300 pound weight capacity on here. Has a ladder built in, which is great. And they are very wide. A lot of the times what you'll see with double double uh, bunks, especially in the corner, is that they'll have a really hard angle right here. They'll cut this way back. That way it makes it a little bit easier to get to the bathroom. But I would much rather have a lot more bed space. That way you can truly fit, you know, two people on here. Um, you know, and again, on that rainy day, the kids can hang out in here and they just have extra space to be able to play. Another great feature here on the walls is this. You'll notice that there are nets, so that way the kids have a place to be able to put their electronics. And directly underneath, you have dual USB ports on both the top and bottom bunks. So that way on that rainy day, the kids can hang out right here in the bunks and be able to entertain themselves. So you step into the corner bath, you'll see right down here is your foot flush lever toilet. Folks, the cool thing about this one is it does have a porcelain bowl, making it much easier to clean. Also, as you'll see, I have plenty of room here, both for my legs as well as here in the shoulders. Over to the side, you do have a little bit of storage underneath the sink. So if you want to put some cleaning chemicals in there or something, you can. Great spot for your toilet chemicals, extra toilet paper, things like that. Some more additional storage right over here to the side. You also have an extension for your countertop, which I enjoy because this gives you a spot to, be able to put down like your curling iron or something like that. Sink, of course, right next door, an electrical outlet there too. And then if you look up top, you will notice that there is your mirrored medicine cabinet with storage there and then an LED light for your vanity. You also have a robe hook right here, gives you a great spot to hang your towels. Up top, of course, you have your uh, vent there to quickly help moisture escape, as well as a skylight right here above the tub. This obviously lets in natural light during the day, but also gives you some additional headroom. I'm six foot. You see, I can stand in here no problem, don't have to duck down. If you're a little bit taller, you're 6'3", six, 6'4", six, maybe a little bit more of a struggle for you, but uh, it definitely works great for my height. You'll see here is your hand wand, so if you need to shower up, it makes it nice and easy. Uh, and then, of course, right down below, you also have the tub. The thing I like about a tub, especially in a bunk model, is if you have smaller kids, you can give them a bath in here instead of having to take a shower. Plus, it has a higher threshold wall, meaning that your shower curtain has a much better chance of staying in there, not you know dripping a bunch of water all over the floor. When we come out, you'll see this right here, and this is awesome, folks. You have an actual wardrobe here for your kids' clothes. You know, you had the coat closet I showed you behind the TV, so this is dedicated just for the kids' clothes. You can hang them all up right there. Anything that needs to be folded, you have three large drawers here underneath. So again, uh, super happy they're able to fit that in. On the very bottom, you have your fuse box here. You'll see your breakers across here, as well as your fuses over to the side. Uh, I do want to hit on the ceiling real quick. If you take a look, you have a vent here, but the cool thing about this one is this is prepped for a second AC. So if you plan on going somewhere where it's really warm, you want a second AC, it's already framed out for it, you can have it installed right there. Over to this side here is our super slide, nice and big, plenty of room here. Uh, you'll see that you have a jackknife sofa here. I really like this sofa for a couple different reasons. One, you have the armrests on the side. I hate when I get a jackknife sofa, no armrests, they're just uncomfortable to sit in. So I certainly appreciate those. They are removable, uh, so that way, you know, you can lay it down as a bed. They're basically just Velcroed in. You kind of take it out like that, remove this part right here, and you're all set. Uh, also, the other thing that I really enjoy is this right here, right in the center. Take a look at that. That drops down. You have some cup holders right there. It kind of makes like pseudo theater seating, which in this setup with a TV is straight across is absolutely fantastic. 
Uh, they put a window here to let in some natural light as well as on the side and you have additional storage right here up top. Take a look over next to that. This of course is your dinette. It's where you'll be eating your meals together as a family, playing uh, you know, your board games. Hopefully not Monopoly. I know that caused all sorts of issues with me and my brother as children, but uh, again, you know, I love having a dinette. It really just helps bring the whole family together at night. The other cool thing about this, folks, is this does drop down into a bed. So if you need that additional sleeping space, just take out the legs here from the flanges and the floor as well as the table. The table itself drops right down along these rails. Take the back cushions, throw them on top and that is an additional sleeping space. Uh, the jackknife sofa, of course, drops down into a bed as well and has storage all the way underneath it. So a couple different sleeping options, great storage option there too. And then you have windows here as well. You'll also see the light right up top. Folks, this is an LED light here. So, uh, you know, if you are boondocking, just like all the rest of the lights, this one's not gonna be a huge drain on your battery. As soon as you step into the bedroom, you will see that you have a slider door right here. So that way you get a little more privacy at night. One of my favorite parts though is this right here folks which is your true residential size 60 by 80 queen bed if you're sick of having your feet hang off in a camper you don't have to worry about it in the coleman light here it is the full 80 inches it also has storage underneath so that way if uh, you know you have some larger items you want to store under there you have both the jackknife sofa as well as a storage here underneath the bed you also have a cool headboard. I really like this. You know, they, it's kind of a different wood pattern. I think it's really pretty. Again, you know, a little more of a rustic look, which is nice. LED light there too. Storage across the top with your tinted glass. And then on the sides, you have mirrored wardrobes. So you'll see the hanging rod uh, on the one side there. The other side here has a couple of shelves. If you drop down below, both of them do have a drawer as well as an electrical outlet. So if you need to plug anything in, whether it's a CPAP machine, cell phone, whatever it may be, you have the capability to do that. This side over here, you will see you have a little bit of a nightstand here. So rather than, again, being the full wardrobe, you have the shelves up top with a nightstand there. But again, you still have the drawer, electrical outlet, and USB ports underneath. Uh, last thing I wanna touch on are two last things. One, you have a second entrance right here into the bedroom. So this is awesome, especially if you wake up or go to bed uh, you know, a different time than the kids. You can get out, have your morning coffee, or maybe you put them to bed, go to the campfire next door. You can come back later at night without disturbing the kiddos. Also on the other side, right over there, you have a TV mounting, uh, or a location rather, where to put your bracket. So if you have uh, a TV you wanna put in here, they did put a backer in the wall, you know exactly where to mount it, and the connections for it are right up top. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features in the 2019 Coleman 2835BH. Right up front here, you have two 20-pound propane tanks with the cover. Get down in there, just undo these two thumb screws, lift up the door, and you have access. Behind that, you have rails here for your battery. And coming up the front, you have kind of this diamond-etched plating there, which is a great look. Plus, it helps protect your front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. This is huge right here, folks. Three year limited warranty that is currently the best in the industry. So if you're looking to purchase a product that you know the manufacturer stands behind, you can definitely feel good with that right there. Coming around to the side, if you wanna do some boondocking, this is a great addition. That is solar prep. So all you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there. It's already pre-wired and it will trickle charge your battery. Here is your pass-through storage. You'll notice it has a covered hinge that we don't have a bunch of rust coming down. Also, it is a slam latch baggage door, so it's easy to drop down. Plus, it's magnetic, so you put it up there, you forget about it. You know, the kids come by, they run over here and slam the door shut. Not like a plastic clip or anything is going to rip out of the wall or snap. It just drops right down like it should. Take a look inside here, you can see how big the pass-through is. It's one of the great things about the Coleman Light floor plans. They make sure that there aren't any intrusions in your pass-through. So you have a huge door here on this side as well as on the other side. So any large items you can fit in from either side of the pass-through. Right here is that in-command box I was mentioning. This is where all of your electronics are. In the event you need to troubleshoot anything, all the wires here are color-coded. So it makes life much, much easier on you. You'll also see a couple light switches right there. One of them being for the light inside the pass-through. You can see right up here, not only is it just a little puck light, but instead you have an LED light strip that runs the whole thing, lighting up your entire pass-through. If you drop down right underneath, you will see this one also has power stabilizer jack. So uh, this makes life a little bit easier. You get to the campsite, 
You can just, uh, after it's all level, just run those guys down. You don't have to use a hand tool to drop it down or anything like that. Do bear in mind, folks, it's not auto level. You would definitely still want to level it out with blocks or make sure you park on a level site. It's purely to stabilize the coach, but again, it is a great feature to have. As I mentioned inside, two entrances on this one. This one right here goes into the bedroom. The main entrance is the one in the back there. Both of them, however, do have the triple step and they uh, also have the aluminum treads. So the aluminum stairs are cool because they don't rust out. They'll stay looking great for you. It also has the grip strip on there so that way if it's wet, you still have traction at night. Smaller handle on this one right here, but at least it's there so you still do have something to grab onto. The main entrance, of course, has your much larger foldable grab handle. Power awning here, touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go back in. And then you also have an LED light strip on there. Uh, so that way you can just hang out right here, flip on the lights, you have light at night, you don't have to hang one up yourself. Again, those that is controlled by that in-command system. You'll also see two outside speakers. As I previously mentioned, those are controlled by that multimedia center inside. But again, it is Bluetooth capable. Take a quick look right down here. Again, if you're doing boondocking, you'll want to make sure you have some fresh water in your tank. That is where you will fill it. Right next door to that is an electrical outlet as well as a cable outlet. So if you want a TV out here, this is what you'll hook up. Obviously, electrical outlet can be used for anything else. Uh, it's always a great feature to have on the campsite there. Right down underneath, you'll notice you have beautiful aluminum alloy wheels. Folks, again, just like the steps, not only these look great now, but they will continue to do so in the future. This is our main entrance. We already talked about the steps. You'll see here is that larger foldable grab handle. And then right back here is probably, of course, one of my favorite parts about having a bunk model, and that is the outside kitchen. You'll see you have your mini fridge right here, so that we have a spot for some beverages, condiments, things like that. It does come with a grill. Now, because this is a Coleman, this one's just powered by your little green tank. So by the little green tank, screw them on there. You are all set. Uh, right here, if we undo this, you'll see this also pulls out, gives you a great little prep area. You can just lock this right down into place. And then you have the faucet here with both hot and cold water with your dump right there. Uh, if we take a look coming back a little bit, you will see your arm right here. So that is for your grill. So that way all you have to do is just drop this guy down. You'll swing it out and around, put, take the grill, throw it right on top and you are good to go. Uh, square tubular bumper on there as well with the end caps folks. So that way you can take your sewer hose, store it in there so it's not rolling around with everything up front. And then you have your spare tire right back here with the cover. Hopefully you never have to use that, but in the event that you do, uh, you'll know it's riding right back here. It's easy to get at and it'll be in good shape. Right up top there, you will see backup camera prep. If you want a backup camera, having it prepped will make it easier to install. It's basically pre-wired, so just a plug and play installation, meaning it will save you money to have that professionally installed. One of the things you can't really see, if you take a look underneath here, it's kind of tough with the camera, but this right here is your underbelly. Folks, this one has a fully enclosed and insulated underbelly. Not only does that help in your colder climates, uh, but also it'll help keep road grime out of there, as well as hopefully uh, help deter some of the critters in the off season. Right over here, you'll see your termination. Notice that both your black and gray tank valves are located right there. And directly above it, you have your outside shower, both hot and cold water here. City water inlet is directly above it. And over to this side is your black tank flush. So this way, rather than having to take a hose, sticking it down your toilet, you just take a hose, screw it in right here. That black tank has sprayers built in, and it will wash it out when you're done camping. I recommend just running that for probably 10, 15 minutes when you're done camping to make sure it does wash everything out of there. Right here is your cable inlet, and directly underneath that uh, is your, uh, your plug-in. Again, as I mentioned, this one is 50 amp, folks, because it is pre-wired for that second AC. Lastly, one thing you won't want to forget about, right here underneath the front of your slide is another gray tank termination. So this one does have two gray tanks. Uh, if you're at like a seasonal site, I recommend buying a Y, just wind them together. Otherwise, if you're dumping them, you just dump this one first, pull it forward a little bit, and then dump the back one. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Coleman Light 2835BH. If you're interested in this beautiful bunk model and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.